Welcome to the center of key. In today's class, we're focusing on trying to relax so that we can sleep better. Now, if you have a lot of tension in your spine, um, it means that your nervous system is tense and it's gonna trouble, make sleep problematic for you. Now, if you also have a tight neck and shoulders, then that's also gonna contribute to that. This class isn't specifically for the neck or the shoulders, but if you do have tight neck or shoulders, then I'd suggest you do one of my tight neck or shoulder classes to help release some of that tension. In this class, we're gonna focus mainly on lengthening the spine and trying to release and relax the nervous system. So, let's get started. So we're going to start on the hands and the knees. So, have your hands under your shoulders, have your knees hip width apart. And we just wanna squeeze and stretch the back to begin with. So, make your arms nice and long, take a breath in. And as you exhale, lift the back up, tuck the head under, squeeze the belly in. And then breathe in, come to neutral spine. And exhale, lifting the head, squeezing the back, the head and the bottom moving towards each other as you push through the hands. And then breathe in centre, so just nice slow movement. Exhale, draw the belly out, push down through the hands, try and tuck the tailbone under, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. And then breathe into neutral spine. Hold it in for a couple of seconds. And then exhaling, lifting the head, looking up, stretch your eyes if you can, squeezing into the back, squeezing into the back of the neck as well. Good, one more each way, breath in, centre, hold it in for a moment. And then exhale, lifting, belly tucking up, head tucking under, tailbone tucking under. Good, breathe into centre, just hold it in for a moment. Keep the arms long as you exhale, look up, squeezing the head back, pulling the head and the bottom towards each other, feel the throat stretch. Lovely, and then breathe in, coming back. And we just take a little child's pose for a moment, curl up, let the arms relax. So we can do this class before going to bed. So we don't want to do any too strong movements and create tension. Rather, we just want to flow and feel soft. So curl up through your spine. We're going to Sit off to one side, so take the legs out, so one foot is resting on the front of the knee here, and we're sitting here. Now if this is a real struggle for your hip, you can take that leg out, so we have one leg in front and one leg out to the side. If you do that, make sure you pull the toes back, but if you can, we want to have both knees in this shape, and we're going to interlace the hands behind the head and try to lift up nice and tall. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, we're taking the elbow to the knee. So opening through the side body, really important to help relax and release tension. Breathe in, come up. And again, exhale. So elbow to the outside foot, top elbow lifting. You want to feel the stretch here through the side body. Breathe in, come up. Let's do one more, exhale going over. Now I want you to stay here and take a breath in. Hold it in, just feeling that stretch through the ribs on the upper elbow side. And then breathe out, just soften a little further. See if you can relax and drop into it. And then breathe in again. Keep looking straight ahead. Hold it in for a moment. And then exhale. Southern. Let's do one more. Big breath in. Hold it in. Top elbow lifting. And then exhale. Soften even further. Good. And then gently coming up. Lovely. Alright, let your arms go. Swap the legs over to the other side. And then hands come back and interlace behind the head. So lifting up nice and tall. Take a breath in, and exhale, over we go. Feel the side stretch, top elbow lifting. Breathe in, come up, and exhale. Not jerking, just slowly, gently moving. Good, one more breath in, lifting tall, and exhale. 
exhaling over and we just want to stay here now take a breath in and hold it in feel those top ribs stretching and then exhale softening further keep looking forwards breath in again holding it in top elbow lifting and exhale soften there's one more big breath in hold it in for a moment and then exhale softening further through that side and then breathe in coming up and let your arms go and we come back into child's pose so curl up into a little ball if you need to you can rest your head on your fists otherwise just let the head rest on the ground and bring your hands down beside you and just taking a couple of breaths there uh, just feeling the tension melt away All right, curling up through the spine nice and slowly, head comes up last and then we just take the legs out in front and lie down on our back. Lovely stuff. So we're going to squeeze into the back. So I want you to take your legs at least as wide as your mat. Okay, so wider than the shoulders and I want you to pull your toes back strongly on the feet. Now notice if the feet roll outwards, I want you to turn the thighs in so the feet point up. And then make a fist with the thumbs inside, fingers wrapped around, and tuck your elbows in right beside the waist there, the side body. Chin is tucking in, toes are pulling back, take a breath in, and exhale, squeezing your bottom up. Use the elbows to lift you, push them down to lift the hips. Breathe in, come back to the floor. And again, exhale, squeezing into the lower body, into the lower back. Inhale down. Let's do one more here. Exhale, squeezing up, chin is tucking in, toes are pulling back. Good. And then gently down. Let's see if we can go the legs a little bit wider. So even wider than your mat. <sighs> All right. So again, toes are pulling back, chin is tucking in. Take a breath in and exhale, squeeze the bottom, even if you're not lifting, just really clench into those buttocks strongly. Inhale back, let everything soften. Keep the toes back though. Exhale, squeezing up again, chin is tucking to the chest, use the elbows. Inhale down, last one now. And exhale, breathe it out. Push through the heels, squeeze the buttocks strongly until there's nothing left and then gently lower that down good bring the legs in now let your arms go for a moment <sighs> let that soften breathe belly expands <sighs> exhale let it go lovely stuff so let's bend the knees up now take the hands and interlace them behind the head and we want to just gently bring the knees up over the chest as best you can. Now keep the knees together, don't let them come apart. So squeeze them in and you're going to engage the deep belly. Take a breath in there. And just exhale. Let the shoulders relax. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, we're taking the knees over to the right and we're going to just let them rest on the floor. Now if you can't get them comfortably to the ground, then maybe pop a cushion underneath. Both elbows are still on the floor, the knees are still together and we're just going to hold and breathe. Feeling, so if the knees are to the right, we're feeling the left shoulder and elbow pull back to the floor. The chin is still tucking into the chest. The knees are kind of moving towards the right elbow here, out to the side. Breath into the belly, let it expand. And then exhale, softening. Good stuff. All right, let's breathe in, bring the knees back to the middle. And now exhale, take the knees to your left side. Seeing if they can get all the way to the floor. Again, if they can't, maybe pop a cushion underneath. Knees up towards the elbow. Elbows are pressing back, so my knees are to the left. 
I'm pressing the right shoulder and elbow back to the floor. Breathing into that space, letting the belly soften on the breath out. Chin is tucking to the chest. I'm not turning my head left or right, the head is still in the middle. The knees are still together. Good, and then breathe in, bring it all the way back to the center and let the legs go again. So arms out straight, palms up beside you, legs are nice and long and just take a moment there to let everything soften. So like I said, we want this class to promote better sleep, so we want to be able to relax and release. All right, so let's put our hands on the belly, bring your legs together, tucking the chin to the chest, take a breath in, and just exhale, lift your head, look to your toes, pull your toes towards you, feel the belly engage. Breathe in, come back down. Exhale, lifting the head, keep the chin tucking in, shoulders soft, pull the toes back more strongly if you can. Inhale back, there's one more. And exhale, squeezing up. Let's see if we can try to sit up. If you can't, use your hands to push yourself up to sitting. Excellent stuff. All right, so we're going to bend one knee out to the side. So foot is cupping the knee here. And we want to grab either the leg or if we can reach the toes. So whatever you can reach, if you're holding on here, that's fine. If you're holding here, even better. Whichever way, just make sure you're pulling those toes back so the knee isn't bending up. So the straight leg knee should be lengthening down towards the floor. So we're going to breathe in and lift the spine. And as you breathe out, I want you to try and pull your head towards your knee and curl yourself over. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. So even if you're holding here, that's fine. And then exhale, pull your head down. Even if you're not getting far, just try and let your head drop towards the knee and feel the stretch through the back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, pulling down. Pull the toes back strongly. Two more. Breath in, lift and lengthen. And exhale, pull. Last one, breathe in, lift and lengthen, just moving slowly. And exhale, pull the head down, squeeze the belly in, let the elbows drop either side of you. And then coming up, lovely. All right, let's swap the legs over. Take the other knee out. Grab what you can on the straight leg. Remember, we're trying to push the back of the knee down into the floor and pull the toes back. So whatever you're holding on to, just focus on the toes pulling towards you. So breathe in, lift up, and exhale, pulling the head to the knee, curling the spine over. Feel the stretch through the back. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, pull the head down. Breathe in, lengthening. Exhale, pulling down, keep pulling the toes back, hold on to what you can. Breathe in, up, last two. Exhale, pull toes, pulling back, feel the back of the leg stretch. Last one, big breath in. And exhale, pulling the head down towards the knee. And then gently. Coming up, well done. All right, so we're gonna stretch the sides a little more strongly now. So stretching the back, stretching the sides. Bring one foot in, nice and close to your center, and the other leg is out straight. And again, we wanna grab something on this straight leg, whether that's the big toe, maybe you can hook a couple of fingers over the big toe, or you can grab your ankle or your shin. The other hand is gonna be on the knee. And we're gonna take a breath in. And just exhale, take that arm up to the ceiling. And you want to feel, as we hold here and breathe, that arm lengthening, the side lifting, the ribs expanding here. And the palm is facing towards our head. We're pulling the toes back on this straight leg, whether we're holding on to the shin or the foot. Take a breath in there. 
and exhale coming over feeling the side get longer and then breathe in come up exhale take it over if you can bend this elbow to come to the inside of the knee breathe in up one more exhale coming over and we want to stay here and breathe maybe the arm can come right to the ear if not just kind of try and keep it as straight as you can we don't want to bend or twist so notice if your shoulder is coming forwards try and lift the shoulder and lengthen the arm so we're feeling that stretch through that side from the hip to the fingertips as you're breathing in and out through the nose fingertips reaching side of the body lengthening pulling the toes back on the straight leg breathing in feel the side stretch exhale lengthening that arm fingertips stretching good and then just gently coming up again lovely stuff just take the both legs out in front give that a moment and we'll do the other side so take the other leg out bring the other foot in so if these poses are particularly hard for you then keep practicing them if you're finding it's hard with the shoulders then look for some of my shoulder and upper back classes to help release some of that shoulder tension as well so grabbing what you can either the toe or the foot or the ankle or the shin other hand on the knee take a breath in and exhale to stretch that arm up to the ceiling and we're just going to stay and breathe and I want you to feel as if someone's lifting you up the side here is stretching even more palm is now facing to your head take a breath in and exhale coming over lengthen the side body breathe in lift up to the middle exhale lengthen one more breath in and exhale we're going to stay here and breathe maybe the arm can come to the ear if not just allow it to lengthen and breathe through your nose like i said before we don't want the elbow bent or the shoulder coming in front so see if you can roll the shoulder back as you lengthen through those fingertips maybe this front elbow can bend and press onto the inner knee and just stay here gently breathing don't look down don't look up just looking straight ahead feeling that side get longer as you breathe in it stretches and as you exhale it lengthens pulling the toes back on the straight leg you're doing really well hmm good and then gently coming up lovely stuff take your legs back out straight again give them a little little wobble all right so we're just going to lengthen through the back one more time so let's bend one knee out to the side like we did before and bring that foot up nice and close as best you can into this center area all right so we're facing this straight leg with our chest and again we want to grab what we can foot foot ankle shin whatever you can reach and so we want to breathe in and lengthen here and now as you exhale, see if you can fold your belly over your thigh and the crown of the head now is going to the foot, not to the knee. Stay where you are, breathe in and see if you can lengthen a bit more. And now exhale, fold a little bit further. Eyes are gazing down at the leg, we breathe in and lengthen the spine. Try to relax your shoulders. And exhale, fold a little bit further over the straight leg. Bent knee to the side is pushing down. And again, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, fold a little bit further. So we're not lifting up and down here. We just go to where we get. We hold, breathe in, lengthen more. Exhale, fold. Crown of the head towards the foot. Elbows dropping either side of the straight leg. We're still pulling the toes back on the straight leg. We want to open up through the back of the leg. Open up through the back on the side of the, the back that we're stretching nice deep breaths in and out through the nose bring your mind down into your belly crown of the head lengthening to the foot 
and then gently coming up. Good, we're going to do that on the other leg and then we're lying down on the back for a rest. So let's pull the other foot up nice and close, facing that straight leg, toes are back, grabbing what you can. So breathe in and lift and then exhale, fold. So crown of the head stretching to the foot. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, folding over. Toes are back strongly. Breathe in to lengthen. Exhale, folding over the leg. Eyes gazing down at the leg. Breathe in, lengthen. Even if you're not getting far, just keep moving with the breath. Exhale, folding. Belly dropping to the thigh. We just keep practicing. Keep breathing slowly and gently. Exhale, fold. Bent knee pressing down out to the side. Pulling the toes back on the straight leg. Maybe the elbows are dropping towards the floor. Crown of the head lengthening towards the foot. Bring your mind down into your belly. Feel the belly dropping to the thigh. Shoulders are relaxed. Try not to tense the shoulders. Just let them soften. Bring your mind into your body. Feel the breath. Good. All right. And then gently, gently coming up. Lovely stuff. Just let both legs go for a moment. And then we'll lie down on the back and take a moment to rest. Let that soften. So we just stretched the back quite strongly. I want to give it a minute to readjust that work to integrate. Feel the breath deep in the belly. Maybe breathing through the nose now as we rest. Mouth is closed. Feeling the air travelling down through the back of the nose, back of the throat, into the lungs. And then returning back the opposite way. stuff so we just want to bend the knees up take the feet out sorry the knees out wide so the feet are together so front legs and hands interlace behind the head now just notice if your lower back is arching see if you can tilt the pelvis slightly so the lower back gets a little closer to the floor feel the feet pressing together gently so big toes are touching little toes are touching it's pads of the feet are connecting and just relax your knees and thighs and tuck the chin to the chest. Shoulders are relaxed. Take a breath in. And exhale, squeeze your bottom. It might just hover a millimetre off the floor, working strongly into the buttocks there. Lovely. Breathe in softly, gently back to the floor. Again, we don't want to thrust or drive the hips up. We just squeeze. Exhale, squeeze the bottom, feel the hips hover off the mat, let the knees stay relaxed and open. We're doing one more, breath in to soften. And exhale, squeezing up and let's stay here and breathe in and out through the nose, holding, hovering off the floor. Feel the belly stretch with the breath in. Feel the bottom squeeze more as you breathe out. Upper body is soft. The bottom is just holding you there. Feel the buttocks working. Let the knees hang open. Feel the little toe side of the foot gently pressing into the floor. 
One more breath here. And then gently bring your bottom down, draw the knees together again, and just let your legs go, let your arms go for a moment. Just feel that and breathe. So this is a class to help us sleep, to let the nervous system relax, to let the spine lengthen. All right, so we're just gonna stretch a little more. So just pull your right knee to your chest, holding on to that. Extend out through the leg on the ground, pushing out through your heel. Try and relax through the shoulders. And then we're going to take the right leg up to the ceiling. Now you can interlace your hands behind the knee and hold on there. If you've got more flexibility, you can actually reach over the toes onto the padding of the foot and hold your foot with your hand. But only if you can keep your head on the floor and your chin to your chest. And the other leg on the ground is extending forwards and away with the toes back. If that's too strong, then like I said, hands can interlace and we just hold and breathe whilst we push the heel away and pull the toes back. Both legs are strong. Nice deep breaths. Right down into the belly. Let the hips soften. Feel the body relax into the stretch. Allow the muscles to lengthen. Allow the joints to soften. One more breath here. And then release. And we let the leg float to the floor. Give it a moment, arms beside you, palms are up, legs are soft. Feeling that right side just soften even more. The mind gently relaxes as well, the thoughts stop whirling through your head. So part of the problem of Getting to sleep at night is to stop thinking too much. This class would definitely help with that and hopefully you've noticed that now that from all the work you've done so far, the head is a lot quieter, there's less noise. All right, let's do the other side. So bringing the left knee to the chest, extend out through the right leg on the ground and then we can take that left heel up to the ceiling. You can hold behind the knee with both hands or if you can reach with the left hand over the padding of the foot, holding there and the other hand is on the thigh. But only if you can keep your head on the floor and tuck your chin to your chest. And nice deep breaths here. If that's a struggle, then just hands interlace behind the leg is fine. As long as you're working and feeling comfortable, slightly challenged, but not stressed. We don't want to feel stressed. We want to feel a little bit of challenge with the stretch, but the ability to relax into it as you breathe out. So that ability to allow the muscles to lengthen, the joints to soften, the face to relax, each breath into the belly expanding, each breath out softening and lengthening. And the leg on the floor is also extending away. <sighs> One more breath here. Breathing through the nose. Good, all right, and then float your leg back down. Let everything go. 
loves this stuff. And you can stay here for a few minutes if you like. If you want to really get cosy, you could get a cushion and pop it under your legs so your legs are slightly raised if you like. That can be nice and relaxing too. So just stay here for as long as you like, a couple of minutes maybe, breathing gently. And when you're ready to come out of this position, you can just bend the knees up and roll over to your right. And then after a moment or two here, you can press up to sitting and continue to pause and breathe a few breaths. And just taking that lovely, soft feeling with you as you make your way to bed and sleep. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy this class and I hope you get some nice rest as a result. Until next time, namaste.